Hiya, welcome back to the channel. So the observant amongst you might notice that although this is a C1 video, we are not in a C1. And that's simply because I haven't had custody of the C1 for a couple of weeks because I've lent it to a mate. But anyway, right, that means I'm stuck in the BMW. And although it doesn't have the elegance, proesque and, well, extreme performance of the Citroen C1, it does have one feature where it greatly has an advantage. Yes. And now we have beautiful cold air blasting at us from all directions efficiently. But if we make our way into this vehicle and make a comparison, we can see that we do not have an air conditioning sense button. We just have a range between hot and, in this weather, warm airflow. Which is better than nothing. It, it does have an effect, but not the desired effect. Now, just before anyone gets too excited, I'm not going to fit aircon. Right, that would be more than the car is worth. It would involve fit an evaporator somewhere under there, a pump somewhere down. Well, they go down there on these. A condenser here behind the in front of the radiator. Sorry, um, a lot of pipes and shit, multiple sensors, and a button and multiple controls and shit. So like I said, I'm not going to do that because it would cost more than the car is worth and would take a considerable amount of man hours to do so. So then that got me thinking, how about a sunroof? You know, them things that a lot of cars used to have but less cars seen some of them these days. Um, and I looked at sunroofs on eBay and there's not really that much available that is within the price range that I'm willing to spend. And then I remembered about this, that I was sent by massive sponsor, Mr. Kiss. And a sunroof would get in the way after. I did a poll on YouTube and um, were to put it on the bonnet or the roof. And overwhelmingly, the roof was the decision. So then I thought, well, maybe I could fit this and then some vents. And it's like a ram her, her style intake. So that's my intentions. Let's see if it actually works. So first, I need to take some brake pads cleaner and just, just clean the area thoroughly until it is clean. And that's as clean as I can get it reasonably. So I need to position this in a central location and draw around it with a marker pen. And I don't think that shows up too well on the camera, but you can see where I'm going. So next, I need to put these where I want them. One for the driver and one for the passenger. Looks for a vehicle and all that lot. And also, draw around them you see i'm doing this like an instructional video because lots of people are going to want to do this and if you carefully follow this tutorial we'll be able to do it on your own car and if you just sort of put a circle on that one there because we need to leave some metal if i cut around that bit then there's going to be no metal for it to stick onto i need to cut around that bit and also what i was going to say before and i forgot to say is make sure you don't do it where any of the strengthening beams are in the roof i think this car only has one and it's about there anyway uh, so we're missing them Yes. I also did consider uh, one of them spinny fans that they have on the back of dog vans, um, but also there was more money than I wanted to spend. Right, so anyway, now we are approaching the point of no return, as you can see. Uh, I need to put a pilot drill in the middle, and then I need to drill with an 100mm all saw, because that's the correct diameter for that then. Yes. And now I'm hopeful that if I drill this upwards, I'll be able to cut a nice round hole in the headline that matches the roof. Something like that. And the good news is, is we haven't gone through any wires or nothing yet. So I need to get this through there. I need to drill it slowly, but applying more pressure than I can with one hand. Yes. So that went as good as we could have hoped. Apart from being showered in red hot bits of metal and what have you. Um, yeah, it seems to work okay. Now the dilemma is, is how do I mount this? If I put it on the way where it's gonna be the most waterproof, then the tab to actually open it is not on the inside of the car where it is better off being to be controlled efficiently and effectively. If I turn it over like that, then it's not the most waterproof way 
and it's not particularly neat where you can see it. And this brings us to a bit of a compromise. So the plan is, is I was going to do one for the passenger as well, but since I don't have any friends and I don't use have passengers, so that is going to be surplus to requirements. So I'm going to put one on the outside like this and I'm just going to leave it open. But I can reach it with my finger through the vent, which I've checked already, to, um, to fondle it if required. So I'm going to put one on the outside like that and then I'm going to put the other on the inside like this. Yes. And I'm actually going to put screws which link them both together. So I'm going to screw the inside one up to the outer one. And as you can see, I've picked some nice stainless steel hardware um, to do the job. And it's the, the correct length to, to do the job. I've also carefully drilled these holes out to the correct diameter to be, take the hardware inserted into them. No one else need to drill some more holes in the roof. Um, so if I drill all four holes, yes. I mean, that doesn't really matter because it'll clamp against this anyway. But what I could do with doing is just smearing a bit of gasket around here, a silicone or something, so that if it does get a bit of water through, which it will do, um, it doesn't all just spread into the headline in like a big sponge. So, so now we've got that waterproof to a level of IP65 or above, it's now time to fit our vent. So that one's going that way, so I can still fondle that through the front of the vent, just in case I do want to. Um, and I want to put the screws from underneath so that the heads of the screws are what I see from inside the car. So that's going to be a bit awkward to film, but I'm going to try anyway. Yes. So that leaves us in this position um, where we've got one on the outside and one on the inside. Yes. Observant amongst you might have realised that I've sort of fucked up a bit because the vents aren't lined up with each other. I'm hoping it's not going to make that much difference, but I've put this one so the switch, the, the, the toggle is the easiest to reach when I'm driving. Uh, and the same with the outer one, I've put it so you can reach it through the vent, which I'm going to put on next. And that brings us to the PS to resist Um As I've shown before, earlier on, I'm going to fit that here. Now I'm going to put it on with Tiger Seal as I've done in the past with a scoop, which didn't end too well. So just in case, I'm gonna put three rivets just along the front of it. Just some mechanical fixing, just in case the tiger seal does let go, which it shouldn't do, uh, but just in case. So I'm gonna put the rivet holes in first and line that up. Yes. Now, before I rivet it, I'm going to have to put some of this on. In the first place I want to put it is I want to put it around here, nice and generously, to make a bit of a damp, so that when water does come through, at least it's got to get over this to make it inside the car. And if it gets over this, then it deserves to get inside the car, really. So I'll just put this nice and neatly around there. Same with these, obviously, because that is the area where we're going to get a leak is where the rivet goes through. And then next, I just need to carefully go all the way around here with a nice, neat bead of my tiger seat. And now I can carefully place it in the location where I aim for it to land. And before I stick it down, I need to put... Yes, there's one. There's two. Yes. I've got a work of art, a 
attached to the roof. Uh, so all I've got to do now is try and neaten up best I can. Um, first I'll try and anchor it in place while it dries. And then when it's dry by tomorrow, should be able to test it. I think that'll something like doing, just hope it stays in place until it's dry. I put gloves on to stop myself from getting a uh, tiger seal on my hands because it's hard to get off. And then, um, yes. And fast forward to the next day, we can see that it should now be stuck down nice and firmly. And what we'll also see is now we've fitted this, it's been red hot for a while. It's actually cooled down and it's, it's fucking raining. So that is mint. Anyway, let's take all this shit off to reveal its monumental beauty. And uh, we can see how effective you can imagine that's going to be. Yes. And also, let's remove this protective coating. Yes. And that leaves me with just one thing left to do. And that is to see if it works. And it's raining. So I'll get to see if it lets water in as well. Right, so with it closed so far, I'm not getting wet. Let's open it and see if it actually performs the way that we anticipate. And even before I've started moving, I can feel that it's open because I get a tiny bit of draft sort of going upwards through it. Uh, and I can hear, I can hear it. I can hear cars going back through it. <laughs> yes! That is way better than I thought it were going to be. Unfortunately, it's not hot enough to feel the benefits of it today. It's only about 20 degrees, but that is actually really effective. And then when I shut it, it stops. That's a success. Right, so I took it for a bit of a drive, and even with it open when it's raining, I didn't get any water on me at all, which I was surprised about. But I'll see if you can notice this right. I'm going to open it. You can hear it, it is a bit noisy. It's not massively noisy, but you can hear that it's open. So I'll try opening it and then see if you can tell on the camera. So I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, but yeah, you can hear that it's open. Um, but it's not like ridiculous like this. It's quieter than an open window. Um, and as soon as you close it, it, it goes quiet again anyway. And that, I even tried it with that one shot because it don't seem to be don't seem to be relevant that. Um, so actually this is I did it for a bit of a joke and a piss take, but I'm actually pretty glad I did it because I'm too fat for a car without having a sort of an aircon or a sunroof. And um, this does actually work. So like when you're going up to about 20 mile an hour you get a nice little breeze on your 30 mile an hour you get a little bit more i've had it up to about 60 mile an hour and it's not it's not like too much at 60 mile an hour but if it was you could just close it a little bit um so yeah i mean if you do want to do this to your car i, I can appreciate that people will might want to do this um you know i would recommend it um i suppose I could cross this as a test mate in the rain um not getting wet and it's open so the results there are better than anticipated and as you can see we have put the finishing touches on it's a, a ram her dryer or a ram her cooler whichever way her style will be affected by this product uh, anyway pretty much it for this one um i did this as a bit of a piss tape but it actually works pretty well uh, anyway don't forget to like comment subscribe all the usual shit i'll see you next time